And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. See ya! Jewel, just Jewel. Just Jewel. Bending your ears again with talk of new knives from brands like Civivi, Kai, Pena, and Best Tech. Thank goodness there's only four. Like that, it's on to the new knives, beginning with the Civivi Storm Ridge. Three different versions black, green, and tan. Not to mention Microtech. Okay, that's great. Microtech. Way to scoot that in yeah, there. Yeah, I did. That's great. All right, so we're going to start with the tan option on the Storm Ridge. So it's 8.45 inches overall with a 3.92 inch Nitro V straight back blade. It has a flat grind, jimping, desert tan stone wash finish, 0 0.12 inch thickness, and comes to about 58.60 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. yeah. Handle scales are tan G10 with black lanyard hole and a black paracord lanyard. Yeah, Beautifully yeah. wrapped. Black paracord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comes with an easy deploy. Black Kydex sheath. This has got the, the lip thing. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead with him. Cleaning cloth and sticker. Take on any ridge with the Sabibi Storm Ridge. Fixed blade for oh, just eighty nine twenty five. Lineup.com. Alright, what do you think? You can go first. Oh, I can go first? Yeah, you can go first. Wow. I know. I think I get it's very the light. point. It very is pretty light, light, isn't it? It's almost like you have nothing in your hand. That's pretty amazing, actually. Well, for a fixed blade, it is a excellent size. I like a little bit, just a teeny bit longer, but this is this is awesome. I mean, good balance. Very nice. I'm not really fond of the. Don't you, you know, say it. Color of the blade. I like that part. I'm a traditionalist. This option is my favorite out of the other ones. I really think this one's very different, unusual for Civivi, you know? Reminds me a little of, like, the knife itself reminds me of the Tamashi, and then the coloring kind of reminds me of the Gerber Strong Arm, so it's kind of like a mashup of those two. Mm -hmm. Nitro V Steel, uh, it's fine. I will say the ergonomics are top-notch, and the extra jimping is really nice, because you can get that extra grip even with the... The G10, and you get the jimping, so it's just like so you extra. like this one and the and the color blade. Yeah, I like. So this. you're a progressiveness on this then. Is I'm that, a traditional. Is that I, really gonna how you're gonna I phrase like my this? My blades, they satin. Turned, they've turned that. My word. pie, apple. Okay, I like. And apple my constitution pie. upheld. I like that one too, mm -hmm. but I just think I don't want to see the same thing I've seen a hundred times before. I mean, I like the Buck 110. It's I will the best say this knife, about But it. if you want to see a Buck 110 45 million times, you don't. I have seen all. a lot of different color blades that I don't really like. But when it comes to gold, this is nice. I think it is one of the nicer ones. It is. It is one of it, the it's, nicer It's ones. nicer than the Topps Bronze um, Don't go blade, that far. Because I don't really... Don't go that far. I like it standard stone I like, wash. Or, I like... Well, the acid rain's nice. You've crossed the line now, my I friend. You have. Right. Midnight bronze is... Moving on. Kaiser knives. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We haven't been able to do these in a while, have we? No. All right, so not, like, this would be the Kaiser month. task would be up first then. Yeah. So only one version right now. When fully open, this folder has a 3.04 inch 154cm steel reverse Tonto blade with plain edge satin finish and 0.11 inch thickness. This knife weighs just 3.3 ounces and has black micarta scales, barrel spacers, and reversible deep carry tip-up pocket clip. Blade is open with the clutch lock or with the dual-sided thumb studs designed by Nick Consoli. That's great. You can get your everyday task done with the Kaiser Task. Great pun. For just $82. From AtlanticKnife.com. You first. It was there. We had to do the task. Yeah. It's the task one. Yep. All right. So yep. I know it's right there. I like that Kaiser puts their names on there. So I like this knife. The Kaiser clutch lock works well. Similar to all slide locks, access locks. It operates the same way, but it works well. Um, I do see a little bit of a drop bear in there because of like this squat design they have going on. Mm -hmm. But the similarity kind of stops there because reverse Tonto obviously not drop bear and it's really nice on this and i feel like I, I know it's not but i feel like they could have made this adjustable just because of where they put it in this like empty fuller here mm -hmm. but i don't think they they did because it would 
hit. There's no way to turn the thumb studs. Hit, hit with the handle, so. Well, it looks like there's a hex bit in there. But that's Oh, you mean for the off. inside? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe it just. Because it would just loosen it. We'll have to try that later. I kind of want to see it because it kind of looks like it could be. And that would just make it Never you know, cooler. Know. Either way, it's a solid design from Kaiser and good quality for the price, I think. All right. Go ahead. All right. Think? Well, I'm liking the tusk over our next knife. The task. Task. Why well, I call it tusk? I don't know. It's our day. Task right? over the cryptid. I like the cryptid, but I like the clutch lock better than the button lock mm -hmm. because it is more responsive. When you close it, it stops where you let go of the handle. Where you let go of the lock. Okay, I can see your point. So I can make it so it doesn't do the whole. I'm not even sure I can make it bounce out. See, I don't. I don't like the ones where they'll bounce out on you. I like it where I close it. You see, if I pull it again, it'll just lock up. I like that. So you know, if you're a clutch lock fan, yes, slide lock, axis lock, whatever lock, or your button lock fan, it's kind of personal preference. Yeah, exactly. So that means, speaking of button locks. We are on to the next knife, and that is the Kaiser Cryptid. So, mm -hmm. again, only one option for this guy. But I feel like it's a smaller, like, cousin to the one we just did, because it's got mm -hmm. some similarities here. So, it's just 6.81 inches overall with a 2.94 inch 154 <coughs> cm steel drop point blade that's 0 0.11 inches thick with satin finish, plain single edge, and a little bit of jimping. Okay, I lied. It's a lot of jimping. Button lock has black micarta scales and a tip-up reversible pocket clip. Blade on this bad boy can be opened with either the dual-sided thumb stud or with the button lock. Did you hear a little ting? Weighs just two point... Oh, I thought you were going to ting it again. Oh, I can try. Here. There, there you is. go. Weighs just 2.77 ounce. The Cryptid is the first winning design of the Kaiser U Project and was designed by Christian... Nate. 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 We're yep. not being cryptic. You can find the cryptid for only $68.95 from HeadlineKnife.com. Yeah. There it is. Go ahead. I like the cryptid also. Um, it seems pretty responsive. It doesn't, oh, well, it has no. just a little bit there. You have to be more precise when using it if you want to flip it quickly. But, very nice knife. Lower cost. I like that also. I think we did this as a deal today already. We might um, have, yeah. A couple days ago. A lot of people picked that up. Very nice pocket clip. I like that. Yeah, they do the shiny pocket clips. It must be like a Kaiser thing. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, I'm big on Micarta. Some people aren't. We know. So, we know. nice knife. I would pick that up too. Good size too. So. I like this one too. I think I'm more partial to the button lock ones now because I just have so many. I think it's easier to deploy with one hand personally. Although, you know, more likely to open in your pocket too versus the clutch lock. I think it just depends on, you know, personal preference. I just like the button locks better. I think this too is a very solid, really nice design. I like I like the jimping all along this blade here. It's really cool. I can't wait to see if they get other color options because I am not a huge fan of the black micarta. It's kind of kind of gray. Gray. Plain, Almost greenish to a man's eyes who can't it's see not color green. all that well. It's it's black, but mm. that's okay. But Either way, they're really nice knives. I like them. All, All right. right. Wow, jinx. Double With that, jinx. we're on to the Kaiser Veratas next. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Oh, did you? Two options, though one at this time is currently out of stock. Now I think it's two. Spoiler blade is flipped open with either the thumb slot, which she's already done, or the jimped flipper tab. Jimped front flipper. There yeah. you go. All one time is all you flipper. need. Handle is black textured titanium mm -hmm. with hidden bi-directional clip. It's very Oh, subtle. you found it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. The handle also sports blue anodized accents. Like where's Waldo? Like the pivot cap cover and the back spacer. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice the back spacer earlier. Yep, I told you <clears> it was really nice. So it's got the S35VN drop point blade. This is where the drop point blade comes in. Mm -hmm. And it's 3.25 inches long and sports a single plane edge, black finish, Jimping and 0.13 inch thickness. Designed by Jacob Lundquist, this bolster lock knife, though could also be called a frame lock, is 7.66 inches overall and weighs just three ounces. It's amazing how light we're getting. It is. Comes with storage bag, sticker, and cleaning cloth. Gets you a Kaiser Vratas. That's great. For only $175 from really nice. Knife.com. I rolled them Mars. Yeah. 
All right. Oh, gosh. oh, the other option is a gray titanium handle mm -hmm. and light gray accents. When it comes back in stock, it'll be uh, $169. From AtlanticKnife.com. I think I scared you. No, I, I was looking at this covering here. I'm trying to figure out if that's the hidden part where you could take it out and. Oh. Or if it's just a piece. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go All ahead. Right. You first. What do Me you first. Say? Well, Distracted. I don't like it. What? Front flippers. I, I don't oh. I just can't do that anymore. Well, it's got the thumb slot. You know, 154CM is kind of dying a slow death. Don't you die. No. I cannot wait until I never see a front flipper again. Oh, I wish that um, would die out. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's a nice design. I mean, sets up perfectly. I like this little... Uh, yes, the pivot cap. Little, little London Bridge. Oh, you like you the know? cutout. Uh, has a nice see-through chassis. Can't beat that. There's people at home going, that nut blade is facing him. <laughs> and now that I've noticed that this uh, mm -hmm. um, anodized titanium backspacer, backspacer is uh, nicely done in blue, bluish. Bluish. I, I, I kind of like it. It looks Timascus y, but it's not Timascus. It's not? No, okay. it's just anodized blue. Well, they call it uh, lightning over at uh, Canset. That's true. I didn't like this at the beginning because I was like, well, what's a little square for? It doesn't really make any sense. But now that I see this is there, it kind of all blends and the back, together. The back of the pivots, and the too. Pivot screw. Yeah. So that's a yay for me, also. Wow. You thought it was going to go down, but it's an upper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another like great design, <laughs> I think. That's great. I really can't find any faults with these past couple of folders except this part right here. Mm hmm. But that's just my personal taste. Lots of people like front flippers. I don't know why, but you do. I don't know these people. Um, I do like, as well, the Timascus-like accents they did. I think it really gives it a different look from other ones that just do a regular blue anodization. They did a different type of design. It looks really good. You know, I think that's... Uh, I'm going to start putting that on my dinner guest uh, application. What? Do you like front flippers? And if it's like, We'd yes, I'm going to be like, they don't come. Like, just, well, what about his wife? I like her. her. She can't come either. <laughs> Tell her she can come, but she has to Unlike them on home. Facebook. Wow, that's a burn. <laughs> so it's not only because um, I like the texturing, too. I was going to mention this one. I like the texturing because not only can titanium get slick, but it also gives the design an extra boost, and mm -hmm. they did it on both sides. Instead of just being plain black, it's got some texturing. I think it sets it apart from the crowd. Hey, you know what else? Sets it apart from the crowd. What else sets it apart Us. from the crowd? Oh, that's great. And we do that by not only bringing you the latest from all your favorite brands, but also by hosting giveaways, daily deals, and more. One day, we just need to ride through on segways. Like, here's our next segue on a segway. So make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe. Camera girls, give me a look. As well as ring that bell. That way you're never too far away from AK Blade and are automatically entered into giveaways. Is rolling your eyes a look? Yes. Okay. She was giving you a look then. However, oh. <laughs> I've also, there's two you can also look up to God, which is completely different from rolling her eyes. I That's just want to make that distinction. Yeah, she uses that one quite often. Of course, we are ending <laughs> our Spartan Blades a la 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 giveaway this week. Mm. But don't fret, we've got another one beginning next week. Yep. Okay, so the winner of their very own Spartan Blades a la la la, which is not on the table right now, but I'll just. Have the editor pop it up on there. Mm -hmm. And AK merch, including but not limited to a specialty t-shirt, is... Aaron Huddleston. Sorry, I was throwing you off. That. That's all right. I so, waited. Congratulations, you. Make sure to email sales at to claim your knife. We'd also like to give a shout out to Mike Farrakane for answering the AK trivia question. The knife shown was, in fact, the Spyderco Respect. Excellent work. We'll give you a crispy thumbs up. Gave me one of those. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we won't do that again. Naturally, we also begin another trivia question for those who die or linger to have another year trivia question. Exactly. And maybe want a shout out. Yeah. Maybe. Link to that is down below. Don't forget to become an official AK member as well. They reap all the rewards like automatic giveaway entries, first access to daily deals, special promos, discounts, and more. Like that, we're back to the table. Looking at the Pena. Oh. oh, you want to go with that? Yeah, I want to do the No Alacron? No. Wow, you just wanted to show oh. off that you did the Spanish. Microtech A-N-A-X. N-X? Sure. N-X. Mm. Mm. All right. So we just wanted to show that um, 
these are an older model, but I think we just got. It's the first few. time we've got them. Uh. Yeah. So and few they them. have these pointy little tails. They do. So like a titanium carbon fiber on this one. I think this is the uh, most budget friendly option. Were you just air quoting yes. over there? Yes, I was. So it's got the... $400 oh is only budget on a car. <laughs> it's got the titanium handle, the carbon fiber inlay. What do you try to do right now? The M390 steel blade. Oh, did you know these were designed by Rake? I didn't know that. Yes, I did. Wow, you're a show off. Because they do automatics over at uh, Microtech. I, I know, but I figured they could also do it. was the very Reichish, too. That the, you the, know what? Yeah. It is with the, the, the clip is really Plus, nice. Plus, people don't realize this. Reich makes a lot of the high-end knives for other companies. They don't do a lot of knives for themselves, like that 1902, which they still have never, brought ever back. brought back out. Which we're they waiting haven't for. Do the so they, they basically make for other people. So Nice stuff, too. Sting somebody with that. Yeah, mm. I know. So I really like this knife. We're just gonna we're just showing you that they're in what limited stock we have. So yeah, won't be many of them. No. Wah, wah, wah. no. All right. So move, move on. That's now we're going to go to the Pena Alacron. Oops. Uh, yep. Alacron. There you go. Sorry. Didn't want to mispronounce that. <laughs> so not entirely a new design, but is now available in a few new options: black micarta, green micarta, snakeskin, frag titanium, Mars Valley carbon fiber, and more. Guess which one we have. Uh, it shouldn't be hard. Who likes Mars Valley around here? So, the original... Oh, raise your hands. Okay. So, the original design, a collab between Texan designer and custom knife maker Javi Garcia of Garcia Knives and Pena was released a year ago as part of Pena's X series. So, these new options maintain all the style and awesomeness of the original. See? Let them have it. So, this frame lock is 8 inches overall and features a 3.4 inch Bowler M390 steel blade, plain edge, single edge flat grind, Jimping, satin finish, and about an eighth of an inch of thickness. Handle is solid grade 5 titanium. Along with the backspacer and hardware, and come with, uh, is it black and gray? Yeah, it comes in black and gray. Oh, it comes titanium. In black and gray. Yeah. Inlays on this option are Mars Valley carbon fiber, but there are many other inlay options to choose from. Blade operates on bearings with a ceramic detent and a steel lock bar insert. Yep, so you can deploy the plate with either the dual sided thumb studs. Or the jump top front flipper, or the dual sided thumb studs. It features a tip up pocket clip and weighs only 4.5 ounces. So you can get Texan with the Pena Alacran, which Pena. is Spanish for scorpion, in case anyone was interested. Starting at only $268.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. So, wow. So this knife is very, very, very gorgeous, I have to say. I like it. I mean, it opens really nicely. I both like and don't like the minimal use of the carbon fiber. I think just in laying it at the top of the handle really sets it apart from other knives because, you know, Echo and a couple other people have used the Mars Valley on the, the whole handle. So this kind of sets it apart. On the other hand, I would have liked it to be the whole handle inlaid into the whole thing. I just think that looks nicer and I like Mars Valley a lot, so I want more of it. Plus side, they did do it on both sides. So they didn't cheap out. They didn't just do one side. So it was a presentation side. They did it on both sides. Good job, Pena. Again, mm. no back flipper stud. You know, nothing but the uh, Navajas Barbuda will ever do for Morris Valley, will it? They have a lot to aim for I when, when I have that. That you bought. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. But I don't know. I just, I don't, it's a must have. I need the back flipper. I would have this, but come on. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> it's fine. It's, it's really nice, other than that. I like it a See, lot, I'll say. Um, Pena is an acquired taste, of course. Not everybody has one because of the cost. Um, it's a good design. I mean, very nice design, actually. The best part of it is where your finger fits perfectly right here. Just a little cut out for your finger like on the that other porch, side. Man. Like you would, and you could also put your thumb there, too. I mean, it's like he really. Well designed. Yeah, knows what he's doing. Javi Garcia. Um, other than that, what else can you say? I think you covered it all. Yeah, I did. All right, so next up is the newest addition to the Civivi Elementum line. This is number uh, 4,861. The 907A7. That is correct, too, by the way. Yes, it is. The Civivi Elementum in polished Lexan. 
Ooh. It's just Joel's been waiting to do. I have. You can bet your hat. But we got to do the specs first. All right. Let's do them. So this liner lock is a typical elementum. It's got 6.99 inches overall with a 2.96 inch D2 drop point blade with a single plane edge, hollow grind, satin finish, 0 0.12 inch thickness, and comes about 59.61 on the HRC scale. Yeah, you weren't quick enough, but it's okay. Go ahead. As you The handle scales are polished clear Lexan mm -hmm. with stainless gray liners underneath. The folder has a tip up, right carry pocket clip and lanyard hole. Blade is deployed with the typical jumped back flipper tab. Thank you. Operates on cage strang ball bearings and then disengage with liner lock. Comes with a pouch, which Joel loves. Cleaning cloth, which likes Joel that loves. too. And stickers, which Joel likes those too. Yeah. And it's only $51 like from AtlanticKnife.com. So I really like the handle material, maybe just as much as the polished Ultim one. Polished is the way to go in my opinion. I just think the polished one looks better. I really don't see any issues with this knife other than the fact that it's like the millionth and a half time we've seen it in just a slightly different variation. Mm -hmm. But if you're a Civivi Wii collector or an Elementum fan or you just really like this knife in particular, you gotta get it. I mean, I really don't have any issues with this. The Steel D2, it was fine for most of us for like 10, 15 years. So I don't see why we need to have a problem with it now. The price has also gotten a lot better for D2. I remember it used to be like 100 and more, and then you're like 90, and then you're like 80. Now we're down to 50 bucks. I do think 14C 20N would have been sharper, but that still kind of alienates a lot of people. Me. Yeah. I think I've grown to like it a lot, so I think when done right, it's really sharp. But this isn't bad either. Overall, also put on my dinner application. Do you like 14C 28N? And someone responds, have no idea what that is. That's you're great. In. I think it's a really good carry and not a bad price either for a new Elementum option. Yeah, the whole thing you should be saying is why do you have an application for a dinner, dinner guest? guest? Yeah, I don't, well, you know, you don't even host that dinner often. Even though the Elementum... We're talking about dinners. Hey, I'm refined. Uh, yeah, refined in your own house by yourself That's with it. your wife. That's and it. if you could kick your kids out, you probably would. So At least one of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's not the black You know, sheep. you talk about how... The Elementum, there's tons of them. They even mm -hmm. got me to buy one. I got the Wii Elementum in 20 CV when it went on discount. So, you know, is what it is. Keep making them, I guess. If you sell them, get them. That brings us to our final carry. The Best Tech Chi Chi. 13 options. Yes, the lucky number 13. So we have the red and green aluminum ones, along with the purple G10 option to show you guys. See, go ahead. So this button lock is 5.47 inch overall and features a 2.2 inch 14C 28N dagger style blade with plain single edge, 0.118 of thickness, and depending on the versions, satin or black finish. The handle will be either milled aluminum, like on these, or G10, like the purple one. Yep. As mentioned, there are lots of colors to choose from. There are even a few Ultima options. The blade is deployed manually with a flick, like there, while holding the button lock, and it is in disengaged the opposite way. Yeah. So each has a tip-up pocket clip. Um, depending on the version you go with, it's either going to be black or gray. I don't think I have one of the gray ones. These are all black. I think the Ultim ones have gray. Designed by GoGo. -Go. Nice name. Love the GoGo's rule. Each weighs just 1.34 ounces or 38 grams for you meth dealers out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a QQ designed by GoGo -Go starting at just $59.90 from Atlantic Knife. When did you think you get to use meth com. dealers in one of these? I don't know. Great. It just, just happens when you say grams. That's what do you think? Where my mind goes, apparently. So, Just Jewel thinks this knife's cute. You know, Go Go, Jewel Jewel had to do the thing. So, there's a QQ for everyone. Chi Chi. QQ. Chi Chi is Go Go. QQ. I do think for the size, the materials, and the price, that Best Tech is going to have a little bit to compete with, especially in terms of the aluminum button lock mm. ones. Because there's a lot out there more, by more well known companies, like especially Civivi. I mean, they're kind of hovering around the $50, $60, $70 mark, and they're bigger. Some people might like a smaller one, and, you know, I do. I think it's nice. I just think it's going to be a little difficult for them to mm -hmm. get in there into the market. I think it's an awesome knife. I love their different versions. On the go. I might actually pick one up. I was thinking about what? it. What? Yep. What? But I can't put it in my collection because 
There's a, four, there's a Node 14C28 ensign. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you can't get one. That was our final blade for this week. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell. That way you're automatically notified when our next video is released. Yep, and so you get automatically entered into giveaways. Don't forget to become an official AK member via the link in the description. You won't regret it. You'll get first access to new knives, special promos, daily deals, and more. All right. Time for favorite knife. Okay, we're not including the Microtech because it's it's not okay. super new. Because if it were, I'd, I'd go with that one. But right now, I like this one a lot. But you're not wearing it oh, as a brooch. It, it went with the color I was wearing. So. You could wear it as a brooch. Yeah. People wear brooches anymore. Yes. Hmm. People, and they're expensive now. They used to be hmm. fairly cheap. Now they want crazy amounts of money. All right. That's what you're going with? Yeah. And we can't go with the... A and AX. Mm, can't go with the NX now. All right. All right. Really? Yep. The Kaiser clutch lock task, huh? Yep. That's great. All right, with that. Oh, that's my line. Yep. I'm C, and this was Joel. Just Joel. Signing off. So when fully opened, this folder has a 3.04 inch, 154 cm steel drop point, not drop point. Let me start over there. It has a 3.04 inch, 154 cm steel reverse tanto blade with plain edge, satin finish, and 0.11 inch thickness. I feel like I should have referred to this one. We round the whole thing. All right. Now you're going to have to. <laughs> this now. That's what Miss Bailey, I can't do my Espanol teacher, taught me. Yeah, well, she also let you call yourself a grape for like... How many years? Two or three? Almost uh, quite a while. Yeah. So, I don't know if I... She just didn't understand the language all that well. She understand that you called yourself a grape. I had a shirt on that said UVA, and she said, Ah, oh, Ramon, Uva, that's grape. I'm like, oh, Ramon is great. <laughs> all right. I might have to commit a blasphemy. I might have to See? buy an exclusive one. Because I really like the color. Oh, a blasphemy. Sun. Yes. No blasphemy allowed. Okay, but we don't have it. Nay, nay. There's nowhere else to get it. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, what if I Stop trade talking about it somewhere else? It doesn't else? exist. And this dojo, does that it That brings me? us to the final carry. Chi-Chi. I see what he does. When there's a problem, he just ignores it. All right. So, there are 13 options did you really just say Chi Chi? Chi Chi. Okay, well, 13 options. Yep, the lucky number 13. So we have the red and green aluminum ones along with the purple G10 option to show you guys. Oh, I bet you I'm going to get to tell you what colors they come into. No, I Great. scared you. It says plain single edge. 0.118. Well, that's a lot of uh, decimal places. Wow. She's just so picky. I'm sorry, she just likes perfection. I'm, I'm sorry, you're doing a great job. Each has a tip-up. You need a lesson on how to alienate your co-workers? <laughs> just rewind about 15 seconds. Black or gray? 